Hi everybody, now let's learn how the quality uh, quality center works. So first we are going to yeah. So first we have to create uh, we have to go to the site administrator. First we have to create a project. Then we are going to learn how to create requirement into quality center. How we are going to create a test plan. How we are going to create test cases inside that. How we are going to execute those test cases and in, in case we found any defect how we are going to report the defect into quality center so first the image that i gave you for in in that you have to create a project well challenge project so let's say first you have to open site administrator yeah. so the password here for logging into uh, site administrator you will find it into this txt file so you don't have to yes, yes. concentrate here for a moment please Right. So for the quality center here, the login ID is Pritesh and we are here and let's put the password here at ski training. Should we do this while you do that? Or no, no, don't do that right now. Just, just follow. Yes, yeah, just okay. watch it. Okay. I'm recording. You can watch it later. Okay. So when you do that, you will find this problem uh, that the, this license will expire in 15 days. But for that, if after 15 days you want to practice, you need to go to this VM venue. VM menu, take a snapshot, under that you re re restore this snapshot. So it will re reinstall all the softwares for you. So after 15 days also you can practice at home. So in this one, we will create a new project. This is site user and a create new project. So right now, when you go to the company, let's say first time a company is installing quality center into the, bringing the quality center into that company. and we, they are starting building of connects vm software right mm -hmm. so first they have to create a project into the system and for that they will keep on writing the requirements mm -hmm. okay. that's the first mm -hmm. phase of it right mm -hmm. so you need to click on the create project create an empty project then click on the next button the project name will be connects vm mm -hmm. right in the, in the default domain and just click on next and the keep the same password and let's click on the next button and it will give you an error, error that the it will enable so don't say this message click on ok and just go to the next button assign the existing user so who is going to use this project project managers project leads developers and QA engineers like us and quality leads they are going to use this project so we have we will we will create those users and give them the permission to do all those things so for that we have right now only one user Pritesh as an administrator so generally the administrator for quality center will be there your job is to write mm -hmm. test case into that one execute test case and all those things so you don't have to do it but just to test all these things at your home, you, I'm showing you even mm -hmm. one step ab above that. Can you make that noise later? Yeah. Active project. An active project, and let's say we create this one. So it will create a basic and empty project for us. Do you see now? Okay, the Connects VM project has been created. Do you see a Connects VM project here? So now all the users of this can see Connects VM project. And what happens when you create or when you write one defect? How do you notify your manager that you created? So there is an email integration part is also quality. Uh, uh, there is a feature called email integration that quality center supports. So you have to feed email address of your all the users. So let's say I send an I assign one defect. So and automatically an email email will be sent to the developer, right? So we are going to create project users. So let's add a new user, or let's create one from basically that is Michael. All those guys and uh, create from another project. We don't have that. Let's create site users first here. So first name I'll say test developer and test developer. I'll create I'm creating one developer and his email address at 
You are going to, you are not going to From do in the company. Yeah, so this is the beginning. This is where the oh, first you create a project. Okay. And then you're going to write requirement. Then you're going to write your test plan. We are going, we are going to do all these things. Okay, so this is beginning for so this setting is up all this. Like, you know, on Mercury, how it works like from the from the scratch, everything. from a, from the but scratch. You do but you don't you don't have to do this thing in your company. Okay. Your manager or somebody else will do it for you. Mm -hmm. all this is one step ahead. Now. There are some requirements where you can you can sell yourself in a in a better way. That I have done completely quality center administration as well. This is very important. You, people are paying thousands of dollars just to you know install all these things and there are there are specifically jobs just to administrator all those things okay. you don't have to write everything so you're saying you're just showing us just so we know you don't have to really you write. don't have to do this thing but in order to d work on your computer for mm -hmm. the rest of the thing you have to do it manually here okay a developer at test company dot com you right? would have all this access information if you were doing this in yes. real life yeah okay so now we created one test developer, right? And now let's create password. K training will be the password for all of them. So there is one test developer. Now we create a project manager. Project manager. Project but this has nothing to do with the testing. So this is just with creating mm -hmm. um, project manager administration. Manager. Test company. Yes, that's true. And project manager and password would be K trainings. K trainings. And we created that. And we created a QA engineer, right? QA. Hey, can you tell me like wh why we need those? I I'll it's come like to that point. Wait a minute. Just if you understand what I'm trying to do here, that's it. Why we are doing it, I'm coming to that point. Mm -hmm. So you're just making up uh, who's going to work on the project at the time yes. being and who can have access. Who can have an access. Okay. So even if you're the manager. Yes. Let's say if you have like 50 testers and 25 managers, it's already done. It's already been done. It, everything, ev when you join a company, you have to ask your manager to add my your username into, your com into the system. So somebody will create your name into the system. So now we have a project connects VM and we have the users. So we are adding it from the users list. So who is going to work on this project? So a QA engineer, a project manager is going to work and a test engineer is going to work. Right? So who is the administrator? Project manager is the administrator. Mm -hmm. And rest are the same. And now we can save these things. Okay. So it's automatically it will save and this will restore the project and these are the things that we don't have to do it so now you can log out uh -huh. from administrator okay now you have to go to the actual mercury quality center so now your job begin okay right so when you click on this thing it will open this page mercury quality center so click on the quality center mm -hmm. so when you open it it will tell you which user you want to log in with. So basically they're training you, right, for that? No, that's what you have to know. This mm -hmm. is what I'm training you for this one. You don't, they will not train they're you not for training you at work? Like no. Like that's if you're going to pass whatever. Maybe, you know, you can say I have worked on quality center, but if you don't know about clear quest, so you can ask your colleague, don't ask your manager. Ask your colleague that, uh, can you show me uh, what is the user ID and password or how do you do that? So it will show you that okay, how that's how you enter it and that's how you do it. But if you know this tool, all the rest would be same, exactly same things. For quality center. For test management. Okay. Quality center is a tool for test management. test management. Okay. What you just showed us is just so we know we don't really have to do anything. We don't have to do okay. anything. But now what we are going to do show he, see here, that's mm -hmm. what you have to do sometimes. Okay. So basically every day when we go on at work. Yeah. We have to go first. On first this. here. So this is a tool. This is so a tool. So you open up like this, this tool. You're going on a Mercury Quality Center, right? Yes. In the morning, and you put in your name, username, and password. Password. And that's the manager they added. How, yeah. you, how you open yeah. up this? So now let's see what project managers do, what a QA engineers do, and what a developers do. Okay. Right. So now let's let me note it down here and how many users we have. 
so you will understand what I'm trying to do here so we have a project manager okay so what does a project manager do what does a business analyst do what does a QA uh, a developer do and what does a QA engineer do right so first let's understand as a business analyst has his job is to put requirements into that one correct mm -hmm. we saw what is the requirement now right so what is the requirement you know what the company actually wants to develop mm -hmm. so let's assume right now that we do not have right now we do not have the business analyst user we just have these three users so let's say project manager has inserted this requirement Okay. Right. So project manager enters with his credentials. Project manager. Why are you putting the name? Right. So now you can see only one project to him. We were having three projects in the administrator, in the site administrator. Connects VM, flight reservation, and there are three projects. So if you are working on Connects VM. And you have been given permission to view only connects VM. Then you can see only this project you have you are be working on. Let's say you work on three different projects, so you will see three projects here. Okay, so if you if you are the project manager, this is what you would put in as an ID and a password. Yes. And then if you were the QA, you will put that one. So let's let's first put requirement as a project manager. Okay. Right. So let's enter into the project. now if you if you get some time go ahead and read these tutorials this is very important if you follow these tutorials you will uh, you will have even better understanding of the quality center of the quality center yes so we have right now nothing let's say in the january when the project start we need to put these requirements we we saw the requirement documents mm -hmm. how the requirement looks like like yeah. there was one requirement srs001 and so uh, this is before even we start the testing we are starting the testing right so these are the requirement test case module test plan mo test lab module and defect module so everything in one everything in one tool. in one tool so that's how you'll, you you will have, have a complete tool, insight co and a complete insight of your project it's a big one big picture of your entire project your testing activity your development activity you can monitor track review and do the work on with that so what is the job of this requirement module is to manage your requirements they mm -hmm. insert and feed their requirements in detail now all the companies will have this quality center no not all the companies other companies might have different tool but, it's but if you it's a similar tool they will have the same features but maybe these buttons will be on somewhere some other location okay or then would it other name would be clear quest clear quest okay or bugzilla or anything similar yeah. names but i mean different names with similar and of course the features would be different features would be different but yeah. it's the same thing requirement yeah. test plan test lab and data yeah okay got it so basically we not are we going to learn like clear quest too no we are not going to because it's the same tool oh mirror for it let's say you you know how to drive uh, mustang you know how to drive so then you will know how to drive a car so we're not doing most the rational clear quest clear okay we're not doing rational but if you write you know if you if you go on internet download the trial version by yourself you will be able to completely understand after we understand this tutorial for the clear quest for the clear quest okay. right so for the requirement module you can manage your requirement you can put your requirement delete it and update it based on the srs based on the srs some companies don't even write srs document so what they directly is they directly put their requirement into this uh, into, into into the into this quality center and itself. And if they don't do that, where 